vigilant uh, community and make sure that uh, we have uh, different uh, things in place to assure the safety of the citizens of all of us. safety and peace, peace plan for our citizens. Only way to ever achieve that is to give a level of support from our police and our administration that's come from all the city employees and whatever, letting the people know that we stand ready to protect them. Uh, we have to have, we've got to have more support from families. You've got to back your people up. You've got to back your children up. We've got to send this message to school. It's, it's in our school. Uh, our children are scared, and they're not getting the help at home that they need. So we're not doing a good thing in education. We need to, we've got to handle both of them. We're better trained, better educated, and it puts them into the workforce. And maybe if we get these jobs, we can keep our, our children home. We're exporting our children all over West Tennessee. <coughs> Thank you, Mayor Stevens. Candidates will now make their closing statements. Mayor Stevens, you will go first. Ladies and gentlemen, what you see, what you get. I'm a 69-year-old 60, male, college educated, with a Bachelor of Science degree in business and economics. I was a successful businessman, one who knows what it's like to pay bills, make payroll. I'm a man with a wonderful family. I have a wife. 49 and a half years, two children and two grandchildren. A man who's been in some form of management ever since college. A man who was in the military for over 36 years and attained the rank of command sergeant major, which is the highest grade that you go in the enlisted rank. A man who's not only had the training, but the inherent leadership skills necessary to be a good manager. A man who served on the city council for 14 years and four years as your mayor. A man who has never been arrested, never sued anyone, nor falsely accused anyone. A man who believes in and loves God, family, country, and our city and its citizens. A man who has guided our city through hard times to recovery. If you're looking for experience, education, and a business mindset to count on keeping Baldwin on the track to the next level of success, there's only one option. Vote for me. Thank you. Ms. Woods, your closing statement, please. As I close, I would like to thank everyone for their participation, the moderators. And I would also like to say that no more little dreamers trying to stop big dreamers. This is what we've had in this city. The big dreamers trying to stop the little dreamers. I don't have to put anybody down. Some people that haven't been arrested is not because they didn't do anything wrong. It was only because of who they were. So my thing is to be the fairest mayor that you all have ever had, to treat people right, and not try to hurt people for self-gratification. As I remember as a child, I loved to read. And I read the book, The Little Engine That Could. That little red engine was full of toys trying to make it to the top of the mountain. And I'm paraphrasing now. That little engine stopped. Had a clown on there as well, with lots of toys. The clown looked back as the, as the engine train stopped. He saw a blue engine coming. And he said to the blue engine, can you help us to get to the top of the mountain? The blue engine said to him, I'm just a small, a little train. I've never made it to the top of the mountain, but you know what? I'll try. So, you know, the little blue engine hitched to the train as she pulled and tugged, and she pulled and tugged. She said, I think I can. I think I can. As she slowly moved to the top of the mountain, and she made it 